today i am going to discuss very important terminology state process path and cycle so first of all assume a quantity of a gas at pressure p1 and volume v1 is filled in a cylinder i shown in figure so let me draw the figure so consider this is a cylinder in which piston reciprocates and this is the system say so for example it is filled with the gas so consider it as initial state 1 so here this gas is at initial state 1 now let me draw the same state one of the gas on pv diagram so this is the pressure versus volume diagram so once again keep in mind that pressure versus volume diagram that is known as pv diagram always pressure that is on the y axis and volume is on the x axis for the pv diagram now let's say this is the initial state of the gas and that is initially at state 1 so it is state 1 and corresponding pressure is p1 and corresponding volume is v1 now this gas changes its state from state 1 to state 2 so it has a pressure p2 and volume v2 so let me show you over here the gas is expanded and so that there is a new position of the gas and that is at state 2 so on the pv diagram the state 2 of the gas is over here and the corresponding pressure is p2 for the state 2 and corresponding volume is V2. Now you can define the state when all the properties of a system have a definite value that means any two independent properties from the pressure, volume and temperature then the system is in a definite state so let's take the example of the state 1 so state 1 is defined by the two property of pressure and volume similarly for the state 2 there is a two independent properties pressure p2 and volume v2 so state 1 and state 2 both are defined by the independent properties of pressure and volume now next one process any change that a system undergoes from one equilibrium state to another is called a process so in this figure you can see the system undergoes from one equilibrium state 1 to another equilibrium state 2 so this is called as the process 1 2 now the next definition path the series of the states through which a system passes during the process is called as path so let me draw the intermediate series of states so here you can see the intermediate series of the state a b c d e so these all are the series of states for the process 1 2 2 so here i can say these all are the states or you can say intermediate states for the process 1 2 and if i join these all intermediate states then it is called as the process 1 2 and this is the path of the process 1 2 so i can say this is the path of the process 1 2
Now next, consider a system undergoes by one more process to one. So this gas changes its state from state 2 to state 1. So once again it has a pressure P1 and volume V1. So let me draw over here the another process 2, 1. So here there are two processes. Process 1, 2 and then followed by 2, 1. In this figure you can see there are four different processes. So now I can define the cycle. If a system undergoes two or more processes, here you can see two processes and here you can see more than two processes and returns to its initial state at the end of all processes. In this figure, this is the initial state and after all the processes, once again it gains its original state. Similarly here, if we can say this is the initial state, so after the end of all processes, it returns to its original initial state. Then it is called as cycle. So put your valuable feedback on the comment box for motivating me to make more videos. Thanks my dear friends for watching my video.